Hmm, so after Cade's unwanted and unwelcome death, someone needs to replace him as the vanguard hunter, the flashpoint giver, the treasure map scammer. Today we speculate on who that might actually be. But before we do that guys, for a chance to win my monthly fully customizable controller giveaway, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below telling me who you think will replace Kate. The giveaway Gleam link is at the top of the video description, so good luck everybody. What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Okay, so as I do when I want to start a decent convo, I drop a tweet of on Twitter where you should be following me. If you don't, what is wrong with you? I asked over on Twitter who people thought would replace Cade upon his unwelcome death. And the response was great. Some of the names put forth to me were straight up ludicrous, but at the end of the day, you just never know people. So let's get into it and the first name that popped up which I want to get out of the way as in my opinion is most unlikely and that's Ace. In fact people in my opinion it just won't happen. Thing is so many people think it might. For those who don't know who Ace is, Ace is Cade's son. A son he had many many years before I believe he turned XO and lost his entire memory. The only memories of his past he has now are from his diary notes which do hold some seriously interesting points towards Cade and his wife, which he also had. He does mention, and you see it within his notes within the game, that his son is dead. Although no actual proof has come to light, it is stated within his notes, as you can see on the screen now. Now, many people also speculated that it's Ace carrying Cade away at the end of the teaser cinematic of Cade dying. Me personally, I just don't see it happening. But hey, you just never know. Ace Kate's son being the new Hunter Vanguard, although I would like to see how it comes to light, story-wise. That would be great as there's just so much for us to learn about the two. I just can't see it, people. Ace, I believe, will be left in the past. And the Ace of Spades will be all we have come the near future for us to remember Cade and Ace by. As sad as it sounds, I think that's the truth. But hey guys, I could be wrong. I hope I am wrong. But I just don't see it happening. Okay, so next up, people, which is also a long shot, but it's a name that kept popping up, so I must include her, and that is Eris Morn. Well, firstly, we actually ain't sure where she went. I mean, there are clues as to her whereabouts, where she went, etc, etc, but actual factual in-game information on where she is isn't exactly known. Now, if you ain't sure who Eris Morn is, Eris Morn is a hunter, a member of the Hidden, who serves the Vanguard as their expert on Hive lore. She is the sole survivor of the ill-fated fire team led by herself and Arena 3 that attempted to assassinate Crota after the Great Disaster. After guiding the Guardian on the path to Crota's destruction, she helped coordinate the fight against Oryx, the Taken King, while maintaining secret alliances with Queen Marasov of the Reef and the exiled warlock Osiris. During the Age of Triumph, Ares left the last city to gather more information on future high threats. Destinypedia also states the following according to in-game lore. Her last days within the city were during the Festival of the Lost like we just seen. Ares was approached by K6 and told him to leave if he did not have a replacement ship for her. Cade attempted to get her into a more festive mood, but Ares dismissed him by listing all that she had lost, including her friends, her ghost, and her ship. He offered her a sweet treat from a smuggled package that Cade 5530 had confiscated, which Ares refused and bid him once more to be gone until he had a new ship. Ares reluctantly assisted Eva Levante in decorating the tower during the dawning. Ares viewed the festival as trivial and a waste of time while the servants of the darkness still lingered. Eva attempted to convince her that joy and hope was important in fighting the darkness, but Eris viewed it all as pretending. Eva stated only joyful guardians could defeat the darkness, and that holding the dawning festival was her way of making that happen, causing Eris to wish her a happy dawning. Shortly after the dawning, Eris visited an old friend in the hospital, a warlock by the name of Ashamir. She spoke to his catatonic body, telling him her time in the city was over and she had accomplished all she set out to do there. She decided to find a new way to eliminate the hive and that she could not find it within the city's walls. Before leaving she spoke a grim warning that a storm was coming and she would not be with them when it broke. The storm would end up being the Red Legion's assault on the city and the beginnings of the Red War. 
Eris' departure is noted by the Vanguard and the Guardians, as they originally hope to ask her for advice on the new hive broods encountered on Titan. However, Savala states that no one has seen or heard from Eris since before the last city fell. After the Traveller's reawakening and the liberation of the last city, there was still no news of Eris. So it's crazy and there's much speculation on where she's actually gone. Now to me, Eris will return, but not as a Vanguard vendor in replacement for Cade. There is just so much more to Eris Morn. In my opinion, she will return with the eventual DLC on Hive with Savathun. As we all know, she is very much tied to. To a point many believe she might actually be the sister of Oryx. This is my point though, there is still so much to learn about Eris. So wasting her as a Vanguard vendor without further story progression just wouldn't make sense and to be honest should not come to be. Either way, Ares will eventually return for sure people. Now another name which kept on popping up was the Exo Stranger, believed now to be Elsie Bray, sister of Anna Bray. Also tied very much in with Cade as we all know how he became an Exo. Many people also speculate that it's the Exo Stranger again carrying Cade at the end of the cinematic where he was killed. Again though this for me, as much as I'd love to see Elsie re-entered into the story going forward as we really don't know much about her, where she's been and what she's been up to, for me there is just much more to her story than to end up being a Vanguard rep. I mean this could come to be. Bungie did state while Luke Smith stated her story was best left in the past. We got her gun and that was the end of her. We have since learned who she is, the Exo Stranger, and this comes from clues with Anna Bray and much more introduced with the Warmind DLC, so it's clear she has a future we're yet to discover, but in my opinion it's just not quite yet. There will be plenty for us to learn come September with the Forsaken DLC, much lore, much story and much more, but the Exo Stranger won't be a part of that in my opinion. If she does make a return, like Eris with a Hive, she will eventually come with the return of a future Vex DLC. In my opinion, that's how it's going to go down anyway. So moving on, and the name most people believe will be our new Vanguard Hunter representative, and that is Shiro 4. Shiro is one of the Vanguard's most trusted scouts, tasked with illuminating fallen threats on Earth. Most of his time is spent running between Earth, the Moon and Venus, engaging fallen crews. He's free of the pressure of leadership that ties his mentor, Cade Six. He also willingly aids the Vanguard whenever or wherever his skills are required. Now we last saw Shiro within the Iron Temple. To me, it makes more sense that Shiro will become a new Vanguard Hunter. But when you think about it, it is kind of a little too obvious. I mean, for all we know, he could be dead. There is more or less no mention of him within the game right now. I know it doesn't mean a damn thing, but you just never know people. But if you truly think about it, he scouts for the Vanguard and has extensive knowledge of the Fallen's House of Kings, which is rumoured to be the house Prince Aldrin has under his command. So it kind of makes sense we might see Shiro 4 return with the Forsaken. I mean, if I had to put money on it, Shiro 4 would be where my money is at. But again, it does seem a little too obvious. And do Bungie do obvious? Well, let me know your opinion on that. But Shiro 4, it does kind of make sense. Now other names have come up, some stupid crazy ones, while others still thinking by some miracle Cade won't die and will return as our vendor. Or he will die but somehow be resurrected or revived. I mean Bungie confirmed it's the end for Cade as we know him, he's dead. But that doesn't mean he won't return, I mean at the moment it does seem that way, hence the speculation on who will replace him. But what if, what if somehow he does get resurrected or revived? We see somebody carrying Cade. Could this be out of respect? Could it be a mission to save him? Until the four second drops people, we won't know for sure. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. Just covering the most put forth names to me on who will replace Cade as our Vanguard vendor. But who do you think will replace Cade? Let me know down below, also telling me your reasoning behind who you think will be his replacement. I do look forward to reading your comments people. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like truly does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I. Get it right